don't have enough strap. You're too high for the door now. We'll get there when we Guys. It's a cart. You can sell it. It's a cart that can sell it. I ain't worried. I'm just worried about the door. Oh, you might make it. This isn't the first thing I've moved for fuck's sake. I know. Plus, I'm going to come back tonight and burn the crate anyway. Are you? Yeah. It's oily. It's, it's got like demons. Gone. Alright, where do you want this stupid thing to live? Put it in the cage. Move the thumper to play. And then head Run left. The Actually. Stop. Um let's put it. You don't want right here. No. Huh? That's where the pool is. Okay. You want to pick somewhere where a pool isn't? Back wall looks good. Right by the back wall looks lovely. Everything's cool. Stop. It's not there. It's not there because Clifton fucked it up again. Oh. Here you have for Oh my god! Okay. Yeah, right there's an excellent spot. Put it right up tight to the wall because it don't weigh that much. All right. Hold on, hold on. Slide it that way a foot. There you go. All right, lovely. How was that? Right. Blade mount. Now. It's an old junk vice, it's all rusted. It's been sitting there for years. I don't know why, I think Batman grabbed it I, one day. I pulled it out of the scrapyard and I was like, this is cool, I eventually want to restore it. I pulled one out of a burned down garage, my dad took it home, oiled it, and it worked. It's on my oh, it's, it moves. I, I've gotten it to move, I just wanted to like redo it. But for now, it makes a great door prop. There you go. All right. So now we can see where we can actually grab it, which. This post here we can find. That's yeah, solid yeah, we can grab thing. that. We can grab here. Anything on the blue, the handle on the end is so great. So what we'll have, is we'll have here is good. Stephen, Gray, me here. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. And cool. with that, we should be able to also lower let's the let's no pull way. it out over here. Stephen, this is your spot. Yeah, I, I was listening. Okay. Don't grab the end so much as the two sides. Uh, 
You're just gonna have to back straight up. There we go. beat his ass now or you want to wait a while? Um, well, I think we'll do it next. It's partial to it, but it's mostly more Harris. Though. Okay. It's entirely Harris's fault. Ben, ben helped definitely in that mess in the corner. That mess in the goddamn <laughs> corner. Hey, pasta. Stuff that I've told everyone to throw away. Yeah, just you sound like dad. Uh, yeah. Stay it's home. Mostly Harris's fault. The block the door. Huh? The block no, you're the host of the box. In supply. It's always a breakthrough idea, and the world's always ending. And yeah, yeah. Um, are they coming today? Yeah, I'll talk to him at some point. Tell him, send her a message, tell her to get, get me during the Q&A. All right. Yeah, he will be. Yeah, yeah, it's doable. All right, thank you, sir. Get better. See you. They're actually, to point out how bad his hazing was, they actually created, our, we didn't do this, our fan base did this, created a Facebook page titled Stop the Jabroni Bullying. That it was that bad. <laughs> it was that bad. So you just called the jabroni? Home? They called me but the jabroni, yes. Corey. You didn't do with your last name? Or? No. Okay. Well, kind of. Jabroni his, is a pejorative term. His last name is Bellatini. And Corey, who was made of evil, wicked funny hated him with a passion of like a thousand sons and established his nickname as Jabroni and nobody ever told me what it meant so I called him Jabroni for like three years. Corey didn't know what it meant. And then we found out that Jabroni is actually Italian for asshole. Italian American for yeah. asshole. Yeah, so, I think that's just a yeah. slang term because I thought The Rock popularized that in uh, WWE. <laughs> you follow a lot of... going to be following you on the tour. Or whoever really? Is this oh God! All right. Besides, my hazing was being hung from a train. Well, there is that. <laughs> you learned how to walk again. You're doing fine. You almost can't even tell anymore. Though he he was on the back of the pickup with me. His first day was a douche video. Oh God! Yeah, that was his first day. Oh shit! All right, we're gonna move this thing. Up. Shoot this! It'll be fun. All right, are you ready? I'll take the straps because I'll be on the other end. Oh, you're using that to grab it. Because there's so many hoes and shit right here. Are you sure that's a good now idea? I can kind of carry it. Okay, At but wrap height. that around again. Tell me what I'm going to grab on. You're grabbing this okay. red bracket right here. I got here. that one, then. And what I'm trying to do here for myself is that I don't have to be bent over, because you guys probably don't want to carry that in full. Like the entire thing. I'm going to wish I had a pair of gloves. Where did all the gloves go? She was sorting. Supply. Oh. Hell, where'd Teresa go? We haven't seen her in days. She started smoking. She's back to analogs and too shameful to come here. That's what it is. She's got guilt. Catholic levels of guilt. You give her a starter kit? Yeah. yeah. I'm out of starter kits. I gave away like three this week. All right, Mr. I didn't know that was a thing. It's a book. Yeah, I know that. But that's okay, have you guys got it? Yeah. You, you've got all of it now. Ooh. Oh, I can lower it if you like. <laughs> I don't want to grab that fitting. Yeah, don't grab the fitting. Oh. All right. Well, you can probably grab the blue thing on the bottom of the fitting safely. Yeah, yeah, that you can grab. Okay. Oh, Just we're watch the hoses. Oh. Um, uh, I can move to the outside. That's part is that, that might, that might, where all the weight is. 
You see like the arm that I'm hooked onto? You can yeah. Grab don't, okay. don't grab here or here. Yeah. Grab up in here. Grab the razor sharp. I'm going to grab the part that's probably going to kill me if I drop it. Where's the other strap? Hey, Bellatini. Uh, it's still hooked here. Yeah, we'll be able to get it up there. I don't know about backing that box. Here, here, here. Give me that. Give me the strap. What's wrong with underneath here? Nothing. You can do that. Well, we okay. can hang it on the crane until we can figure out how exactly we're going to get back into oh the box. God. That was a good idea. But that, that little crane isn't tall enough. You good? Oh, yeah. That's totally smooth. Oh, yeah. Very smooth. safe. Looks very it comfortable. It's going to be smooth or safe. Muscle bomb digits for this jack. Ah, Chris scared him away. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Shut up. <laughs> I kept it from hitting the wall at least. Stop for just a second here. If you're of? really careful doing it. Okay, just gently set it down. Because uh, I feel one testicle. You got one on low? Yeah, I have one on low. Chinese hernia. Woo! Very common around here. No. We're going to need the engine noise to put it in the box. I got an idea. No, it wouldn't work. What's that put it back in the box? That is why you're the captain. We'll just... We'll, we'll, we're not going to use this fucking piece of shit hoist right now. So we'll leave it on the hoist. But you have a problem. There's still the problem. You didn't put the hoist back together. Yeah, I did. That there's line a second, should. There's be. a second height. I thought the higher. The, yeah. It's meant. That bolt does go through this tube. That yeah. tube isn't sitting on the bolt. It's going okay. through the okay. tube. Yeah, cool. I uh, noticed it we'll when I took it apart. We'll leave it on the hoist because we're not going to do that using this <laughs> right now. And then <laughs> we have to bring the engine hoist up anyway to put that on top of that. There's because there's no way. Um, but we don't have to do that today. So for now, well, we'll just we hang out on say there. We don't even have the bracket finish that puts it on that. Yeah, so we're cool for now. Look at Scorsese over here. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's just leave it. It's cool. Let's go find out who the hell those people are and knock one. How you doing? Good. You remember me? No. No. I did uh, IT work. Okay. Okay. So you're one of Rocco's interns? Okay. Yeah. Cool. What are you doing in the knock? Uh, I was showing him around. We were gonna possibly do some work. Rocco asked me to. Okay. Is he a member? Uh, not yet. Is he credentialed? Uh, not yet. Then you have five seconds to get him out of my knock. 
Alright. <laughs> Jerry, where you at? <laughs> oh, I gotta give Jerry a card anyway. Jerry! Yeah. You got a guy you gotta get credentialed because he's hanging out in the knock and he doesn't have any paperwork. Get a new one of these made that says G4, please. Head of Robotics. There's a lot of people here. You'll get your member card back when it's printed. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> so we got a class going on. We got a tour going on. We got this thing violating every possible OSHA standard. So let's get it moved and out of the way. Only if you stand on a pallet that is set on the forks what for OSHA idea? standards. A secret. Yeah. It involves a lazy boy, a pallet, and some bolts. Well, that's totally legit. I think you should do this. And then I'm going to cross the liner with it. I'm going to turn this around. That man stole the fork, listen. Huh? That man stole the fork, listen. Do you need it? I'm turning it around so I can get it in its spot. Let's do it backwards. Come on now. Do you want it in its spot backwards with the forks pointing out into the room? Wandered off. They all ran away. It's tour time. All right. So what's next? Pizza. Okay. You gotta take him. Push MDH clean. Grab Ben. Um, Ben's currently working on stuff. All right. Cool. All Rangers. He came from the ceiling. That was in the ceiling? Along with all the balls and shit. Yeah? Yeah. You found a Power Ranger? Mm hmm Red Power Ranger. Mm hmm We think there's a white Power Ranger. What's the Red Captain Planet? I don't know. I don't know. The right Three actually, but yeah. Oh yeah, one more than that, but people hold the cameras. So we do a lot of video vlogs and things, and that's how we also how we interact with our members. And so, so this is our president. He does his captain vlog. Hi. And so, what? Two thousand people will see that with the next. About eighteen hundred in the next twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours, yeah. So it's just a way that we can show people what goes on here. Um, the people that are members throughout the world are our largest donors, so we want to show them what we're doing. You got the guy with the invention? Right? So Hook me after. So we do a so, Q&A session um, after I'm going to show you an idea of where our membership is from. So another way that our membership can interact with the space is through our interview <sighs> chat. Can you print members? This is how they no, only most. Right. Um, the community is super center cool. that. She'll have a stock so file for Barry's car, and this thing needs to be G4, Director of Robotics. Thank you. I'll be back. I moved 8,000 lines, hit a park with too much torque on my motor, couldn't go that far, now I'm alarming out, because I can't go to where you told me to go. Okay.
everybody just stay back there a minute? I'm trying an experiment. I don't know if this will work or not. I just saw it on the floor and wanted to give it a shot. system. Five seconds. 
seconds when the big bright blue green spot in the middle of your vision dissipates, you will notice by looking out there that the piece of aluminum doesn't exist anymore. That smoke ring that you saw shoot to the ceiling, that's the piece of aluminum. It actually got so hot, so fast, it's sublimated. It's cooler than vaporized. It's kind of like vaporized, but it's not. It's sublimated. Which means it, it didn't have time to melt. It went directly from a solid to a gas, which is kind of cool. Also, you may have noticed that you felt a, a shockwave, especially the people right here felt it in the chest. That's why we call that bumper. Downstairs, we have Stomper, but you can't be in the room when it goes off. Thumper is 144 million watts. Stomper is 1.8 billion. And when it goes off, the neighbors will love us. Uh, <laughs> you can feel Stomper about a block away, which is kind of cool. You can hear Thumper about a block away. You can feel Stomper about a block away. Um, other toys we play here. Right now, it's all messed up because we're building big, big new Tesla coils. And that contraction in the middle of the room is a, it basically it's a really big rotisserie for winding really big coils that are about eight feet long. Um, and that is the winding head for it, which has been sitting there for about two hours now. But all of this, this room is designed for you to come and be able to work with high voltage and high energy and do all kinds of fun stuff with my big thing is radio frequency resonant tester coil systems. Um, we throw a big lightning in this room. In about spring, if all goes well, end of May, we should be back to throwing 20 foot lightning bolts in this room at about 2.5 million volts, which is really fantastic. I'm out with this. So that's the high voltage lab, and we'd like to finish with a bang. Are there any questions? All right, after every tour, it is tradition that we do something truly remarkable here at the Geek Group. I'm not just a high voltage physicist, I'm actually the president and founder of the company. We are a national nonprofit, and every week I avail myself to questions. From anybody who walks in for a tour, you can ask absolutely anything you want. And after the tour, we all, we're all going to head over to Studio A, where we get to hang out in a room that has heat, which is kind of a rare thing around this building right now because of the remodel. And you guys can ask absolutely anything you want, and I get to answer it with no preparation, no net, no notes, and do it on a live camera in front of God and country. So, anybody who's interested in learning more about the Geek Group and what we do and how it works, or becoming a member, anything like that, follow me, we're hanging to Studio A. Everybody else, thank you for coming and enjoying the show. You guys have fun. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you. All right, have fun, guys. Anybody who wants in on the Q and A, follow me. Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. It's 417, and welcome to the Geek Group. We've just completed another fabulous tour, and I got to meet some really cool people on that. That was kind of fun. Uh, we have viewer mail from the sunny Florida store. I wonder what it is. Let's take a look. What the hell? There's got to be a story behind this. For reasons beyond my understanding, we have Duke's oh, mayonnaise. That might be for me. Yeah? This is a thing? That's, um, it's a type of mayo you can only get in the South, and it's got a, it tastes unlike any other type. It's from your mom, so yeah, I'm thinking it's for you. Why she feels the need to send you four 32-ounce jars of it, Well, I don't want to know exactly what you y'all do with mayo down there. You may keep forever. You no, you have it to... It doesn't eight, keep eight, forever. Eight. It's good until 8, 8, 15. Ah, I get it now. Contains whale semen. Okay, it is. That's why it tastes different. Uh, it's a southern uh, thing. Uh, I can't believe it's not mayonnaise. <laughs> well, they call them sperm eggs. All right, that's viewer mail for the day. Thank you, Laura. He loves you. He's good. We're feeding him. But apparently, I think this is your mom's way of saying you need to gain a couple pounds. Next week, I'm going to open the same exact things. It'll look exactly the same, and it's going to be marshmallow fluff. This is going to be a thing. I love how they have on here. Naturally rich in omega 3s. Because when you think healthy, you think mayonnaise by the tub. <laughs> totally a healthy food product. Is this a large jar of mayonnaise to you? Mm, not. Without getting it into institutional <laughs> sizes, that's probably as big as they come and look no. without going to commercial. No, you no. Can they this big. Yeah. Which would be commercial size. No. no. You go to Walmart and get them. You can go you to can buy and buy a stuff. bigger jar of mayonnaise than this. But it's not commercial size, it's for fat people. Oh, oh. 
Commercial size is a lot bigger than that. See, yeah. in North Carolina, they just take the squeeze it out of the lines. I'm not talking it. about a gallon jug. I'm talking about... I, yeah, jar. I figured that was a, a... This is like an average to large size jar of mayonnaise. And the stuff that I get comes in a jar that's about as big around as the cap and about that high. I get the little jars, but, you I know... I don't understand what's different about this compared to regular mayonnaise. It tastes... It's, it's a different formula. Oh. It, it's... It's like the difference it's between the same shit, and almond. No, it's all the same stuff. It's just the mayo uh, is not an element. It's a recipe. Uh, each each manufacturer has a different <laughs> recipe, so they're not all the same. You guys have fun. They're gonna discuss the deeper philosophical side of mayonnaise, and I'm gonna go start drinking heavily. We'll be back after. This.